Hello, Diesel. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> Sorry, Paxton. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Henry was taking his passengers along the main line. When? <coughs> oh, hello, Henry. How are you? <coughs> uh, more spots. <coughs> Chicken box. Chicken box? Henry raced away from poor old Paxton as fast as his wheels would carry him. Bouncing his passengers about like peas in a frying pan. Kelsthorpe Road Station was being repainted when there was a little accident with a tin of paint. Die, Henry. with you. Chicken pox! Ugh, some engine. Sir Topham Hatt was still enjoying a day out with his grandchildren. He was very surprised to see a train hurrying backwards along the main line. Mr Oliver! Look, it's a whale. <laughs> You'll never believe this duck. Toad says he's seen a whale. That's not a very good joke. But it's not a joke. You need to be a bit more serious, Toad. Perhaps you should concentrate on being a really useful brake van instead of singing or making jokes. Yes, Mr Oliver. a lovely day, Toad. It was, Mr. Thomas, until I saw that... Oh, never mind. You'll just laugh, too. No, I won't, Toad. What? I saw a whale on the beach at Bluff's Cove. He imagined it, Thomas. Come on, Toad. All that sun's gone to your head. Toad was very upset that Oliver wouldn't take him seriously. He didn't say a word all the way back from Knapford. Are you uh, OK, Toad? Truth be told, I'm a bit sad. First you stopped me singing, then you told Thomas I imagined seeing that whale. Oh, I'm sorry I was unkind about your singing, but the... <laughs> but what, Mr Oliver? I... Don't believe it. There is a whale toad. Oh, I'm so sorry I doubted you. I told you. And your whale on the beach needs help. You're right, Toad. We must alert the Sodor Search and Rescue Centre. Emergency at Plotsko on the beach. 
Is it a fire? Maybe it's a shipwreck. Duty calls! Oliver and Toad helped the search and rescue team by bringing water to keep the whale wet. What are they doing now? It looks like Butch is going to move the whale closer to the sea so it can swim away. The tide's too far out, sir. Harold's right. You can't pull a whale all that way, Butch. It just won't survive. Oh, dear. Is there nothing else they can do, Mr. Oliver? I don't know, Toad. But if there is, I'm sure they'll do it. A little while later, on the same line, Thomas was taking passengers to the fair. Then there was trouble. Cluttering carriages! Whatever's the matter, Thomas? There's a lamb on the track. A lamb? What on earth are we going to do with it? Wait a minute! I can't carry a lamb! Think of my upholstery! <laughs> Look, Mommy, a lamb! Oh, so cute! We can't just leave it here, Annie. And it is only little. Well, all right. I suppose it is only a baby. That's the spirit, dear. We must all make sacrifices in times of need. What are you doing, Thomas? Don't tell me there's another. But there is. And we'll have to pick this one up, too. Oh, here's another one. <coughs> Hello there. <coughs> it's a mommy sheep. Thomas set off again. But he'd hardly gone any distance at all before. <gasps> Another sheep! I'm afraid so, Annie. I don't know where they're all coming from, but we have to pick them up. It's too dangerous to leave them on the tracks. Well, I certainly hope this is the last one we find. But it wasn't the last one. There were many more lost sheep still to be found. And there wasn't room for all of them and all of Thomas's passengers in Annie's carriage. So the passengers all climbed into Clarabelle, even though she didn't have much room either. Where are they all coming from? And Percy, I need you to go to Farmer McCall's farm and collect his new spring lambs and ewes. They must be the sheep that Percy was taking to the fair. The next morning, Thomas was up bright and early. He had an idea how he could help fix Hero. If I can find some of Hero's old spare parts, then he can be fixed. Thomas felt like a brave explorer as he rolled slowly down the overgrown track where he had first found Hero. Branches snapped and brambles scratched, but Thomas wouldn't turn back. I have to find some spare parts for Hero. He's my friend and I want to help him. But no matter how hard Thomas looked, he couldn't find any spare parts. This place is spooky. <laughs> Maybe this was a silly idea. <gasps> I really think I should go back now. Rails had given way, 
And Thomas had come off the track? Oh, uh, silly me. It was just a deer. <laughs> when Thomas tried to move, his wheels just spun around in the mud. He couldn't pull himself back onto the broken rails. Thomas was stuck. Meanwhile, Percy was on a nearby branch line, delivering the mail. couldn't hear Thomas either. But then, Thomas had another idea. What's that? A fire? No, that's not smoke. That's steam from an engine. And that sounds like Thomas. Harold hurried off to get help. But Thomas didn't know that Harold had even seen his signal. He had nearly given up hope. Oh, no one can hear me. And it'll be dark soon. It's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more!